Okay, so in this next step, we have to figure out which frames we need to paint, just to clarify that uh, this is what we want it to look like. It teaches uh, Copycat, hey, th this is what it's supposed to be. And that's really the main issue with Copycat. You gotta tell it what needs to happen, otherwise it won't know. So let's go ahead and take a look at what frames do you think we'll need. Well, obviously, we'll want the first first frame, okay? We'll want the first frame, and we'll want the last frame, okay? So let's go ahead and let's just start by adding those. Let's go to first frame, which we are, hit frame hold. And if you get the newest uh, nuke, it automatically puts your frame number in there for you. And let's go to the last frame, frame hold. Okay, and let's see if there's any other frames in there that change dramatically that we would probably need to pick up. So, well, let's see, frame one has fingers in front. Fingers are moving a bit. Oh, look at that. We got something come, popping on. So let's just go back here to frame five before they pop on. And we'll, pick, we'll take frame five. So let's go to... Frame five. Okay, let's get that. Let's just move that up there. Okay, is there anything else? Well, 10 has a lot of these new tracking markers on it. That's a, a big enough change in the image. So let's go ahead and go to frame 10. And hold. Okay. Let's continue on. Uh, they're starting to spread out. So let's go ahead and grab frame 15. Oops. Now remember, we're looking for frames that change dramatically from the previous select. Okay, let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, that's, that's good enough change there. We might not need it, but might as well. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So frame hold on 20. Uh, it's pretty much all the same through 30. Let's go ahead and take that one. Frame hold on 30. Oops, forgot to change the frame. All right. It's pretty much the same to 40. Up. Oh, let's, let's go ahead and get 40 before it changes. Frame 40. Okay. Frame 50 is a good, looks like a good one. Change it here. 50. Ooh, 60. Nice and clear there. Let's, let's, that definitely feels like a change. Uh, go here. 60. Not much of a change between 60 and, yeah, there's not much of a change between 60. Let's just go ahead and grab 70 just because. That uh, way, let's just grab 70 just because. All right, whoops. Okay. Okay, so there's our data set that we're going to have. We've selected our frames, and let's go ahead and connect this.
Okay, so there is our data set for the frames we're going to paint. So the next video, we'll go ahead and start painting these and setting all this up from here to here uh, properly so we can create a proper data set.